All right, so a few months ago, I thought I would get a thermal camera. We live in an old house, and I wanted to try to minimize the amount of cold air that's entering our house. So I went on Amazon, and I bought this little add-on for my smartphone. Let's see if I can get it out here. It's a Fleur. It's called a Fleur 1. It looks like this. And uh, I have a Samsung Galaxy S6. And the way it works is it just plugs into the bottom. Well, I should say. First of all, you got to charge it up and turn it on. There's a button on the side right here. See the little thing that lights up orange? And you just plug it in. Let's see if I can do this. Hold in the camera. It's going to be harder than I thought. One hand, hold on here a second. Let's see if I get it. Okay. So you simply just plug it into your phone like that, and the app comes on, and you can see it fired up. What I did, I just started taking my uh, new camera with a thermal imager and shining it around the house, um, looking for cold spots. You can see there the, uh, the French doors there, compared to the dog, very hot. It picks up contrast, so we're going to go around the house and uh, show you how I've able to fix some of the cold spots. Okay, hang on. One of the first things I did is I would, went to all the outlets. You can see we've got a little bit of an east wind today and the um, stereo controls there for the speakers are letting in a lot of cold air. So what I did on this particular outlet or switch box here is I pulled off the trim and I drilled a little hole in the back of the box and I filled the, the wall cavity with foam. You can see on the top there it's no longer blue but I didn't do the bottom part. So that's one thing. It already made a big difference. Usually uh, before the whole top of that switch box was completely blue. Let's go in the basement I'll show you something else. Alright so now we're in the basement of the house and in, in uh, particular we're looking over here at the washer and the dryer and uh, this morning I opened the dryer here and I noticed how cold uh, the readings were, I don't know if you can see that or not, in the open dryer. I thought well that's funny. So what I do, I traced it, you can see up the wall to the vent and let's go outside and I'll show you what I found. Okay, so now we're outside the house with the thermal camera and I'm looking at the dryer vent here and uh, what I noticed was the middle section, this little flapper had broken off probably from the heat of the dryer and all the other ones were stuck open from lint. So I went to the Home Depot and I bought a new one and luckily the little flappers are interchangeable so I stuck a new flapper in here and made sure they all closed. That made a huge difference on uh, cold air entry into our basement. It was flooding the basement with cold air. So that's another tip and trick for you. Let's move on to the next thing. Okay, so we're back here in the living room and what I noticed was right above this picture, right about in this area, there was a real deep cold spot. And I was like, why is there a cold spot up there? So I used my thermal camera. You can see there's some cold air entry in that corner and like right the top of that wall. I'm not too worried about that, but there was a huge cold spot. So let's go outside. <laughs> oh, well, um, so I took that light fixture off and I filled it full of foam. And of course, a day later, uh, it expanded. So you got to be careful. Be <laughs> conservative with the foam. Now I've got to clean that off. Uh, I no longer have a cold spot, but I probably got a full electrical junction box um, so I'm going to have to clean that up a little bit. However, the cold spot is gone. <laughs> Let's move on. Alright, so now we are in the upstairs bathroom with our FLIR 1 infrared camera. You can see the electric toothbrush, toothbrushes, how warm they are compared to other things. But we're concerned about the wall. If you see we got a cold spot right there in the wall. What I can do, I think, is I can take off that electrical outlet and 
see if I can carefully drill a hole and then use my spray foam with a tube and see if I can fill that area that's lacking insulation. You want to wear protective gloves. That stuff is super sticky. You want to clear all your medicines and all your prescriptions and toothpaste and things off your your bathroom area so you don't get foam on it. But that's next up. While we're in the bathroom here, uh, if you notice below the sink there, there's a real bad cold spot. See that right there? Just above the baseboard. Not sure how I'm going to address that. I may just have to drill through the sheetrock and see if I can fill that with foam. That's a junction line outside where the roof meets. Uh, I, I don't know how to say that. The roof is slanted there, and I'm not sure how much of a cavity there is. That's one thing you need to be careful of. You don't want to be drilling in any cavities that you're not sure there's water pipes or or electrical. But you can just go around your house, and you can just tell exactly where the cold spots are. It's always a contrast. You can see the lights there are hot compared to the surrounding area, which is cold. And thermal cameras do not work on glass. So if you're looking out the window like there, you gotta just let that go. So we got a lot to do. You can see the cold area around that cabinet. It's really handy. I really, I really, really like this tool. It's uh, it's a neat little gadget, but it's actually functional. You can use it for cars, for houses. Uh, but you can go around your whole house and you can check out where your insulation is lacking. Let's look here in the hallway. See, I've got a really bad cold spot right up in that corner. The next hard part is figuring out how to deal with that. And I will leave that up to you. Thanks for watching my video and hopefully I helped you with sealing your house and staying warm.